Alrighty, so we're doing our first uh, bat rep on kind of the new table and we just decided to kind of use all the terrain um, just to see how it goes. So uh, 2,500 points, my buddy's playing his Iron Hands, I'm playing Orcs. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea as far as what, what we have and what's going down. Um, so it is... Uh, Vanguard strike deployment so from that edge all the way down here over here that's the Iron Hands deployment zone uh, this is the Orc <coughs> deployment zone uh, we like to play two missions at the same time um, and so one of them is Eternal War uh, which is or Emperor's Will I'm sorry Emperor's Will which is the main like kind of three point objective so I have mine here you can't see, but it's a little dude holding a flag back there. Um, and then his is back behind there. Um, kind of see the little statue thing there. So both kind of with some line of sight blocking stuff. Uh, then the other one was the scouring. And so we placed all the objectives. So this is one of them. That's a two there. Uh, this one here, which is going to be the highly contested, that's the four. Um, so that's pretty close to mine. That's a one over there. Um, underneath the land raider is one that's a three. Um, right there's a two over here. And then the other one was yeah. like by the bikes or something. And right there, what is it? A three. a three also. So, um, warlord traits. I got that warlord trait that gave me night fighting or, or I could choose to be night fighting. So I'm going to have it be night fighting. Um, and then he got the Crusader one, uh, so do that real quick and then we'll go over lists. So I had won the roll to go first, but I decided to have him go first uh, and deploy. So let's go over his list and just tell me kind of what you got. So I have a Venerable Dreadnought. Let me move over here. Okay. As an assault, okay. assault cannon. Okay. Uh, five man Terminator squad, assault Terminators uh, with Thunder Hammers. Okay, and that's a redeemer. It's a redeemer, and it has the uh, forge, forge father in there. Okay, and then the uh, five man tax squad with the last cannon. Okay, uh, five man bike squad, uh, two grav guns, and then a combi grav gun for the sergeant. There's a tech marine on a bike and a, ma a chapter master on, on a bike. Okay. And what's this dude up here? Is he? Uh, oh, that's just to represent that that's been uh, fortified or whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, that's another five-man tax squad of the last cannon in there. Okay. Uh, and then I have reserves. And so, what do we got here? We got uh, well, two uh, two ironclads are coming in first turn and drop pods. Okay. I got a deep striking flamer. Uh, Land speeder unit. Okay. Another regular dreadnought uh, with a salt cannon and a drop pod. Uh, that's escorting a five man unit in that Razorback. Okay. It has a heavy bolter and so does the unit. Okay. There's another one of those with a tech brain in it. Okay. And that's the uh, right. unit in the. Uh, Yikes. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then your warlord was the, the dude on the bike? Crusade. Which one's no, no, no. the uh, forge? The father, forge father one. Okay, so um, I have a, a five mega knobs with a uh, mega war boss with all the trimmings in a battle wagon with a death roller. Um, I have a big mech with a force field power claw boss pole. Nineteen boys, shooter boys in there. Um, these have the boarding planks with it. And then just a ram um, battle wagon. This battle wagon here has just kind of what you see, death roller, stuff like that. It has 20 shooter boys in it um, with two big shooters. I have here, I have eight ludas. Um, there I have a 12 uh, truck boys with... Uh, Knob, power claw, boss pole, every armor, the whole works. 
Um, I have another eight unit uh, Lutas here. I have a war boss on a bike with all the trimmings, power claw, all that kind of stuff. And then I have six uh, knob bikers. So two have um, the uh, the uh, heavy, the big choppas. Two have power claws. I have the pain boss. They all have uh, five up. Uh, and vulnerables at the wog banner, uh, a couple boss poles, the whole works there, so that's a pretty kind of hefty unit. Um, then in reserve, I have another truck unit with 12 boys in it, kind of same as the other one. And then I have two DACA jets, so uh, Chork Jaeger and the uh, Red Bear Red. So that's it. Um, I'm not going to try to seize the initiative, so it's night fighting first turn. And I want to go second just to try to secure some objectives. So that's where we're at. Did you say you had some relics on your stuff, right? On this guy? Or did, was it on yeah, the bike? Both the HQs. So what, what relics do you have? The uh, one, the chain, Gorgon's. <laughs> Sorry, I can't The chain on that, the dude. Okay. Is intense. Yeah. But uh, it's the three plus with Eternal Warrior and all that. Okay. Um, and then the. Uh, Forge Father has the uh, stone that gives a four up. Uh, uh, that allows it to repair. Yeah, it's stuff. the uh, it will not die four up instead of. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, end of Iron Hands turn one. So uh, the orcs survive somehow. So first drop pod with the ironclad landed here. Boom, he gets out. Uh, second landed there that ironclad with move through cover moves over to here uh, we found out this is one which is a bomb uh, which sucks I always get the bombs on mine um, and then we let's see so those guys moved up uh, this guy proceeded to fire his melta and his flamer on this guy killed two of these guys they made their save um, didn't flee this guy fired uh, the rockets and the melta over here ended up doing taking off two whole points. It is uh, shaken or uh, excuse me stunned and it's immobilized. Um, whew, that was a close one. And then those guys snap fire didn't really do anything over here. Um, that dreadnought had moved into there, came within range here, fired its auto um, assault cannon, ended up doing one wound on that guy. Um, the that fired over here didn't end up doing it. Uh, there's a las cannon in there. Ended up getting a shot over here. I failed my cover save, but uh, he didn't uh, penetrate, so which was good. So that's kind of about it. So no first blood. Uh, let's see. So that one's a four. So that is uh, re-rolling uh, ones. What's this one in here? It's a five. Six. That's a six. So that's a grab generator, and that's then that a one a five. So that's the. Plus cover save. That's going to be a hard one to, to do. Especially with, uh, yeah, the other cover save thing on there too. It's the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <coughs> All righty. So end of orc turn one. So pretty good. I decided to move my battle wagons over here. I kind of had to try to go after these ironclads. And so uh, these guys all fired on them, didn't do anything. This ironclad, I, or excuse me, this battle wagon, I moved up enough so that the so that I could use the um, uh, the boarding planks to assault him if need be. And what I ended up doing was I snap fired with the cannon and the other thing because it was rear armor, and it ended up blowing him up with that. So. Uh, that got me first blood. And then over here I moved over enough seven so these guys got out. And then I was able to assault the dread. So a question here with the dreads. If the dread was facing that way, could it overwatch? I said that it could, um, even though its arc is over there. Um, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, I know they can overwatch normally, but I don't know if that affects like its shooting arc or anything like that. Um, we did a multi-charge here with them, 
ended up killing this. Um, it ended up doing immobilizing it and then putting another whole another glance on it. Uh, he killed one of my mega knobs in return, so we're locked in combat there. Um, over here, the guys got out of this. This actually, um, the grot rigger in it, uh, fixed it so it can now move next turn. And then these guys just got out and kind of spread out over here. This is a uh, cover this objective, and it's uh, got the skyfire one. Uh, my bikers decided to kind of go over here. My plan is to kind of maybe try to um, get up there in that area. And um, so they just move flat out since they were within a range of that. That's nothing. The truck, I just had it move and then move flat out over here, kind of hide behind there. Um, these guys ended up trying to shoot at those guys, killed one or did one wound and you made his feel no pain. So um, that's about it. So turn two. Okay, so end of uh, Iron Hands turn two. So let's see, so these guys came down deep striking. Um, there's a locator beaker on, on this, so they didn't move. They proceeded to shoot and flame a whole bunch of these guys. Um, and so they s stayed there. Uh, the other thing that got out, oh shoot, we kind of messed Messed one of them up here. Um, what happened? You couldn't have salted with this guy. Oh, because he... Because he deep strike that turn. So, that's okay. We already kind of played it out. I don't know if it would have been any different. Um, but we'll just... Cons so, he came in this turn. We accidentally... He assaulted. So, our mistake. These guys, the Terminators, were there anyways, and they got within range, um, and they would have assaulted and pretty much would have wiped them out anyways. But they uh, made their saves, um, or their, excuse me, their morale, so they're still stuck in. Um, everything else kind of moved up. He fi they fired the orbital bombardment on this. It scattered directly over to that, and I failed my cover save, and he blew it up. So, um, and then everything else kind of did little shots, nothing really too big. Uh, to finish up the combat here, um, he attacked, the uh, Ironclad didn't kill anything. These guys proceeded to blow him up, and then they consolidated uh, four inches over that way. So, um, not bad. So, I mean, we're kind of seeing where, where we're at. Big cluster over this way, but um, should be cool. All right. Alrighty, so um, Orc turn two. So basically both DACA jets came on. The other truck did not come on. Um, I called a WOG and then had them come on, fired on the bikes, only killed two bikes with all that stuff. Just not really good uh, rolling. Um, these dudes, my bike squad, just kind of kept moving flat out. We're going for that. Objective over there. Uh, this moved and then moved flat out just to kind of can try to contest or get in the way there. Um, let's see what else. The that just turned around and is making a dash kind of towards that way. See what we can do. Um, these guys here ended up assaulting and then wiping out that whole unit. Gave me another point, so I have two points. And then my unit here got um, obviously toasted, and then um, they consolidated, so these guys consolidated over here, that's going to be trouble right there, and then he consolidated this way, so um, obviously coming out of there. Uh, this can move now, and so I just kind of moved it back, and... Um, you know, these guys try to fire. We try to fire a lot of stuff on those bikes. And that's really about it, I think. So nothing too crazy. All right. Okay, so that was the end of Iron Hands turn three. So let's see what happened. Um, 
So all of this stuff came on. So that was being that was escorting that uh, unit Razorback. So they came on. That fired over here and ended up did two hole points and it is uh, velocity locked. Um, that ended up firing at something and I don't think really did anything. Um, over here the bikes moved up and he has combi. Uh, grab guns on his master and his um, sergeant so there's four shots here he ended up doing four wounds um, and then killed one mega knob and put a wound on another one and then um, the terminators ended up assaulting the terminators pretty much wiped out um, all the all the regular knobs he did a challenge with my war boss my war boss ended up wiping out uh, he took one wound, but ended up wiping out the sergeant, and so now we're kind of all stuck in there. Um, or you know what? I'm going to have to roll for him, actually, I think. So, um, morale check? Yeah, so we'll do that here in a little bit. Um, let's see what else here. That came on over there, fired. Um, a bunch of stuff tried to fire at this truck and basically just did two whole points and it's shaking on it. Um, I think something fired over there, did one, one moon to that. Uh, the the uh, land raider like fired everything on there and didn't really do anything. So that's kind of where we're at so far. So I'll roll if this changes, we'll, we'll do something here with that. So, okay. So we're good. I rolled that save. And then it forgot the Dreadnought. So the Dreadnought ended up uh, charging all the Ludas, killed one of them, and then he sweeped them and then uh, made his consolidation back over here. So um, like a boss. All right. Bye. So end of Orc turn three. So uh, let's see what we did here. My truck boys came in. I had him come, um, move in here, and then run. Um, I need to see if that blows up or not. Doesn't, so. Um, these guys shot, try to shoot at the bikes. Um, I moved the Red Baron over there to shoot that Razor bike. Uh, blew, uh, wrecked it, so the guys got out. Then this and moved up in range to shoot at them and killed two of the guys over there. They made their morale check. Um, the Chork Jaeger did awesome. He moved all the way over there, pretty much wiped all the, the five-man unit that was on there, which was good. So that allowed me, I had my bikes over here, I was going to shoot at them from there. So I just basically moved flat out with my bikes behind that, because it's kind of a blocking line of sight cover. So trying to hold that uh, uh, Emperor's Will objective. Um, since this was shaken these guys got out tried to assault i did two whole points to it uh with my knob with the power claw but that was it um let's see oh this was awesome too this guy dude he actually probably did even better i would say this is maybe the mvp instead of that guy we'll, we'll see but basically rammed the um the dreadnought that was there and blew it up Awesome. I love, I love death rolling stuff. And then over here, um, I lost two, two wounds again, which sucks. Um, so I have one wound left, and that's just kind of a, a mess right there. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and that's it. All right, so end of Iron Hands turn four. So let's see what happened. Uh, so first of all, those guys moved over here and and up into uh, that area. Um, didn't really do anything. Um, these guys moved back, fired the grab guns at this, didn't do anything. A tech Marine on a bike repaired his um, arm, and then he... Um, Try to shoot. Oh, you got to make your it will not die rules. Oh yeah, right. Two for those. Um, this thing you got to make it for your land raider too. 
Um, that moved back and flamed to those guys, and then uh, I made my morale check. So I got three of them um, left. That thing moved over and killed Chork Jaeger, my DACA jet. Uh, so he got a point. Uh, these guys just moved up, surrounded that thing, kind of fired a little bit. And then this, once again, uh, took a wound. So I had two, some three, he's four wound models, so one more, and then he's dead. And I didn't do any wounds back, so uh, that's kind of about it. All right, the follow-up, that thing did blow up uh, from part of the flamers. And then this thing, this bomb, did go off and killed three of these guys, and I made my uh, check, so we should be good. End of Orc, turn four. So let's see, uh, the truck just ran up there. Uh, these guys just spread out. We need to see if this okay, thing yeah. is. So two, so that's good. These guys just tried to fire at, at uh, the flyer and couldn't do anything. Um, that just moved up closer to those guys, killed two of them. There's one left. Um, uh, this was awesome. So once again from here, death rollered the other dreadnought. That's two dreadnoughts that thing's death rollered this game. So awesome. And um, and both of them, to his point, is he's death and gloried. So I got extra dice with it, which helped. But um, so blew that thing up. And then uh, these guys are just kind of running back. Those guys are just sitting tight. Um, the DACA jet went off the board, so come in next turn. Um, over here, I finally uh, did one wound to him, and he, they didn't do any wounds back, so I was able to stay locked in combat. So we're, we're doing it, so we'll see. Okay, so end of uh, Iron Hands turn five. So... Uh, this combat, so, washed. It was, like, he did a wound, but roll, or, did a hit, one to wound. I did two, he made a save, so we're still there. That's a pretty big one. Over here, these guys were able to get this, which is a, a four objective. Um, so that's four points, which is pretty good. Uh, over there, the Melta, or no, it's the Salt Cannon actually blew up the Battle Wagon that was there. Um, that thing went into hover mode and moved like a skimmer and, uh, so moved flat out and is now contesting that over there, uh, which is interesting. Uh, everything else kind of moved, um, you know, nothing else really happening. So we're getting close down to the wire. All right. To film this. All right. So just real quick, uh, turn ends, game five, it ends up in a tie. So this is the end of my turn. So those guys were able to kill that last dude. They're holding, there's actually 20, I didn't pull them out there, but um, they're holding that, which is two points. Um, this, I he came on, fired at the flyer. Those guys um, uh, fired at him, couldn't do anything. They had to assault him, so it got me a point for doing that and helped me um, secure that for three points. These guys moved over here, ran, were like an inch short of getting me two points there. Um, and I got three points here. So I have three, six, eight, um, line breaker for nine. And then I have uh, first blood and two fast attack choices uh, for 12. So he has uh, four for here, line breaker. Um, he ended up killing my warlord finally. So that got uh, four, so that's five. Uh, that's a 3.1, so that's eight. We have a 3.1 over there that he's holding, so that's 11. And then he killed one of my jets, which was a fast attack choice for 12. So um, that's it. So close game and lots of carnage. And uh, so pretty fun. So 
like the table. The table's cool. You know, a lot of like hidden Lines things, and you could like hide. You know, for a long time, I could hide things over here. Like he dropped stuff down behind that. I couldn't really see him, and um, I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. So, alrighty, that's it. Good game.